globalization and hyper-globalization when China joined the WTO. And you see that uh, three years of flattening emissions, but as I said, started to pick back up. Overall, we're releasing CO2 at a rate higher than at any time in at least 66 million years. These numbers are hard to wrap one's imagination around. It's unprecedented to say the least. The cumulative amount is what matters. Stabilizing annual incremental additions to that accumulation is an achievement if we can get back to it, but then we have to reduce sharply and quickly because it's the accumulated amount, because the CO2 and the other gases that trap heat stay resident in the atmosphere for very long periods of time, much of it more than a thousand years. And it traps as much extra heat energy as would be released by 500,000 Hiroshima-class atomic bombs exploding on the Earth every single day. It's a big planet. But that's a lot of energy, particularly multiplied by 500,000 times every single day. And of course, that's why the temperatures are going up. Some of you are familiar with these calculations that the great Jim Hansen and his team did. These are so-called normal temperatures, arbitrarily designated as uh, the temperatures between 1951 and 1980, the whiter normal, the bluer cooler than normal, the redder warmer than normal, and in the 1980s, this bell curve shifted to the right, and we see in the lower right-hand corner for the first time a statist statistically significant number of extremely hot days, and in the 90s it shifted further, and in the last 10 years, the extremely hot days in the lower right have become more numerous than the cooler than average days. We still have cool days. We still have cold days. But these extremely hot events are now 150 times more common than they were 30 years ago. And of course, we feel it in the air temperatures increasing quite dramatically. It's hard to imagine someone looking at this and feeling the outdoor temperature and disputing the fact that the temperatures are going up dramatically. Of course they are, dramatically. 